वेलकम क्लास इलेवन स्टूडेंट्स आई एम पारुल बंसल एंड आई एल बी टीचिंग यू मैथ्स सो फ्रॉम टूडे विल बिगिन विद अवर रेगुलर लेक्चर्स सो लेट मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल यू अबाउट द सिलेबस एंड द बुक विच यू हैव टू प्रिफर सो इन योर सिलेबस वी हैव सिक्सटीन चैप्टर्स राइट ऑल दीज सिक्सटीन चैप्टर्स एंड वी विल बी कवरिंग नाइन चैप्टर्स इन दिस फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर एंड द बुक विच यू हैव टू फॉलो इज योर एन सी आर टी book so today we'll start with the chapter first sets good morning students this is class 11th maths lecture first of chapter first sets so what is a set set is a well defined collection of objects that is collection of objects which are well defined is known as set what well defined means here is that definition should not vary or we can say collection should not vary right any collection is said to be a set if collection remains same no matter whosoever collect the objects so we'll take some examples to understand this first is collection of natural numbers less than 5 so whosoever will collect the natural numbers less than 5 the collection will always include 1 2 3 4 so we can say this collection is a set next is collection of four interesting books now this collection is not a set why because as collection can vary from person to person as different persons have different choices right so this collection is not a set next example we can take it as collection of all vowels in english alphabet as whosoever will collect it the vowels or we can say the collection will always be a e i o u so this is also a set right now some points to be noted first is sets are represented by capital letters like a b c d etc when we denote a set we use such capital letters now elements of the sets is written inside these curly brackets right these are the curly brackets in which we write the elements of the set so if we want to write a set of natural number less than 5 will represent the set by some capital letter say a and we will write all the elements in the curly brackets so elements will be 1 2 3 4 and differentiate the elements with this commas right now here 1 2 3 4 are the elements of the set a as these numbers belongs to the set right so these numbers are elements of set a now as one belongs to a in mathematical terms we can write it as one belongs to a this some symbol here is a symbol of belongs to so as one belongs to the set a we can write in mathematically terms we can write it as one belongs to a right this is a symbol of belongs to similarly 2 belongs to a 3 belongs to a we can write 2 belongs to a 3 belongs to a 4 belongs to a as you can see in this set a 5 does not belongs so if any element does not belongs to the set how we will write is it as as 5 does not belongs to the set a we can write 5 does not belongs to a here in mathematically terms this is the symbol for does not belongs to right so if 5 does not belongs to a we'll write 5 does not belongs to a now there are some methods of representing a set we'll study two methods to represent the set first is our roster form also known as tabular form and next is second is set builder form so firstly we'll study roster form what is roster form in roster form all the elements of a set are listed elements are being separated by commas and are enclosed within braces these are the braces 
right so in rosta form what we have to do list all the elements separate them by the commas and write those elements inside the braces for example set of all even positive integers less than 7 is described in rosta form as so now what we have to do we have to take all the even integers less than 7 so even positive integers less than 7 are 2 4 and 6 so in rosta form it will be written as this that is the elements all the elements are listed differentiate the elements by the commas and write the elements inside these braces this is the form to write a set in roster form right let us take one example to understand the roster form so write the solution set of the equation x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0 in roster form we have to write the solution of this equation in roster form so first of all we'll find the solution of this equation so the given solution is x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. This can be written as x minus 1 into x plus 2 equal to 0. And you will get the values of x as 1 and minus 2. So they have asked to write the solution set in Rosta form. So in Rosta form you will write it like this. 1 comma minus 2 inside the braces. That is listing all the elements separating them by the commas and writing the elements inside the braces clear this is our roster form let us take one more example to understand roster form so write the following sets in roster form so first is a which is equal to x this is the symbol for such that so they have given us x such that x is an integer and x is greater than minus 3 and less than 7 right x is an integer greater than minus 3 and less than 7 we have to write down this set in roster form so we have to list all the elements all those integers which are greater than minus 3 and less than 7 so the answer will be minus 2 minus 1 0 up to 6 because these are those integers which are greater than minus 3 and less than 7. Next is x is a prime even number. So an even number which is prime also is 2 only. So b is the set 2. C is the set of all letters in the word black. So which letters are used in the word black? B, L, A, C and K. So set C will be nothing but B, L, A, C, K writing all the elements, differentiating them with the commas and writing them inside the braces, right? Also in roster form, order does not matter. What we mean here, order does not matter that is if you write any element at first position or the last position, it does not matter. That is we can also write the set C as B, comma c k a l it does not matter that l comes in second position or at fifth position right you have to list the elements only in roster form order does not matters clear now next is our set builder form so in this form we describe a single common property which all the elements of our set are possess right in roster form what we were doing we were listing all the elements but in set builder form we will not list all the elements we just describe the single common property which all the elements possess for example the set a e i o u all the elements possess a common property if we want to write this set in roster form so we have to see what common property all the elements of this set are following so as we can see this set is basically including the vowels in english alphabet right so how to write in set builder form we named this set as v 
सो v इज इक्वल टू x सच दैट यू विल राइट इट विल इंक्लूड द एलिमेंट्स x सच दैट राइट द प्रॉपर्टी विच द सेट इज फॉलोइंग एज दीज आर द वोवल्स इन इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट सो राइट डाउन x सच दैट x इज अ वोवल इन इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट विद इन दी ब्रेसिस दिस इज हाउ वी राइट दी सेट बिल्डअप फॉर्म राइट एक्स सच दैट एक्स इज अ वोवल इन इंग्लिश एल्फाबेट बेसिकली मैंशन द प्रॉपर्टी विच द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द सेट आर फॉलोइंग लेट्स टेक सम एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड सेट बिल्डअप फॉर्म सो वी हैव टू राइट दीज फॉलोइंग सेट्स इन सेट बिल्डअप फॉर्म so first set a is given as one comma four comma nine comma sixteen comma twenty five and so on so basically this set is given as in roster form right because all the elements are listed we want to write it down it in set builder form so we have to find the property which the elements are following so you can see that one is basically one square Four is the square of two, nine is the square of three, sixteen is the square of four, and so on. So this set is basically the square roots of the natural numbers. So how we will write this as? So solution that set A is equal to x. X is our element such that now tell what is x? X such that x is equal to nothing but n square, where n belongs to natural number right here n started from 1 right 1 2 2 square 3 square so basically x is our n square where n belongs to the natural number now next is set b which is 1 4 9 up to 100 it is same as set a 1 square 2 square 3 square but see as set a is not ending anywhere set b ends at 100 100 is nothing but 10 square so now set b how we will write set b as x such that x is equal to n square n belongs to the natural number n starts from 1 and goes up to 10 because 10 square is 100 so we will write set b similarly as set a only but in set b also define the range of n as n is equal to 1 and greater than 1 and n is equal to 10 and less than 10 right because n goes from 1 to 10 only 1 square 2 square up to 10 square so b will be x such that x is equal to n square n belongs to natural number and n ranges from 1 to 10 now The third C set is given as one upon two, two upon three, three upon four, four upon five. So basically, C is equal to x such that x is equal to n upon n plus one. Why we have written this? Because we can see that denominator is always one greater than the numerator, right? Four is one greater than three, five is one greater than four. So x is basically our n upon n plus one. Here n belongs to the natural number, and tell the range of n that n goes from one to four. As we can see, n is the numerator. Numerator goes from one to four, right? So C is the set x n upon n plus one. N belongs to natural number, and n goes from one to four. Now there are some sets used particularly in mathematics, right? So n we use the notation of n. it denotes the set of all natural numbers z denotes the set of all integers q denotes the set of all rational numbers r denotes the set of real numbers z plus now z denotes the set of integers plus here means set of positive integers also it will not include zero as zero is neither positive nor negative now q plus q include set of all rational numbers this will include set of positive rational numbers r plus set of positive real numbers clear in these two sets also zero will not be included clear so your today's homework is that you have to complete exercise 1.1 okay thank you